Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with learningconstruction.com and welcome to another tutorial video uh, about construction. So in this video I would like to talk about uh, rebar. Uh, last week I had somebody asking me a question about what the heck is these numbers mean on rebar? You know, we just call them a number. We only have a denomination for them like number three, number four, number five. And he wanted to know what this means. Well, let me give you a little background about that. Um, rebar is actually marked in two different types of uh, units. One is going to be the metric system, and the one that we use, of course, is the English system. Well, the English system is really easy. Uh, that's the one that we use all the time. So, for example, somebody says, hey, man, I need to get some number four bar. Well, what the number four means to you is the size of the rebar and really what you have to do is you have to grab the number four and divide it by eight so if you had number four divided by eight equals half and therefore the size of the rebar that you need is half an inch really easy right I know but they we have to make it more complicated so basically if you call for three is three eighths if you call number five is five eighths Number six, three quarters, and so on. It's really simple deal. It gets a little bit trickier when we're talking about the metric system. All right, so if you were looking at the rebar markings, you'll notice that it has a tag at the end of the rebar. That's, of course, if you're using a full length. You're gonna see the markings at the end. These are the actual mill markings of the piece of steel. And what you're gonna see there is the mill, uh, the mill number, the grade, and the number of rebar or the rebar size but they are going to be marked based on the size and metric system so what does that mean to you well let's say that you just can't make heads and tails about the size of this piece of rebar well no problem just look at the look at the size and for example it's going to say number 25 what does 25 means to you well what you have to do is you have to grab the metric number which is 25 minus 1 and then divided by 8 so it will be 25 minus 1 equals 24 divided by 8 will be 8 and that is the size of the reward so it's 1 inch reward so I think it's gonna be pretty obvious when you see a 1 inch piece of reward but anyways um, I hope this video helps you guys uh, for more videos please visit learningconstruction.com